Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you guys how I set up my May budget in the very back of my Passion Planner Weekly. The last time I set up a budget on the back was back in 2018 but this is just to show you how you could budget if you have a Passion Planner use the back pages don't just leave them blank um, try to you know use it up um, and this is one way and I do budget bi-weekly so this isn't the full month so this is just two paychecks so um, I know it might not be for everybody but maybe one of you guys can find this helpful but let me just show you how I set this up so I did try to use um, a minimum of four pages I didn't want to go crazy and use too many pages just in case if maybe one of you wanted to turn the back pages completely into a budget planner or um, yeah like a budget planner in the very back um, there's not that very many there's not very many pages in the back so um, keeping it minimal I thought would kind of help out it actually works out for me since I do um, budget bi-weekly or by paycheck I decided to put these two side by side I originally was going to do one paycheck period here and then the other paycheck period here and then the expense trackers on another set of two pages but I didn't want to again use up that many pages so what I ended up doing was for a paycheck period um, May 1st to the 14th May 1st is when we do get paid um, that's on this column here and then uh, for paycheck period May 15th to the 28th it's um, on this side right here and we do get paid May 15th and then starting here with the first box um, it's my income box so we have paycheck leftover I always have these two on there um, of course because we gotta have a paycheck and then uh, whatever leftover amount we have from the previous paycheck if any and then I just left these three blank here just in case there was any other incoming income that I wasn't aware of or if maybe we dipped into our savings or if something comes in and we can just write it in there so I left myself quite a bit of space right here and then at the bottom here or not the bottom um, in the next box is my bills category so in the very beginning of the month I usually have very few bills and then um, the last half of the month is where I tend to have most of the bills um, but here in the very beginning I do have rent so that one's a pretty big bill I think so um, we have rent uh, my capital one card which I haven't decided um, if I'm going to close it or not it was my very first credit card I got when I was 18 years old so it's my oldest line of credit I am paying five bucks on it um, it's a fee that I pay monthly I think I signed up for a long time ago so I need to try to figure out how I can um, maybe get that removed uh, and then my husband's Wells Fargo card my Barclay card is due on the 10th minimum payment is 27 bucks but I did change it to 55 um, electricity bill this time around is really low it's at 23 bucks I believe we got some sort of credit um, like a Southern California credit I don't know what it is but some kind of credit on there we typically spend between 50 and I would say 80 bucks we do live in a small apartment so um, electricity isn't that high um, and then I also will be putting money into my laundry app um, this time around I will be putting $15 since we're all at home there's really not that much laundry to do other than my husband's work clothes so um, I go back and forth between $15 and 20 bucks and so that gives me a total of 1565 and I still make sure to have a leftover amount here because what I'm trying to do is budget every single dollar um, so I want to make sure um, I'm left with zero at the end and then I'll take this amount and make sure to carry it over to my variable expenses these are my expenses that I have kept up with since I would say August or October of last year um, so this is what I'm keeping for now um, we still have food, um, transportation, household, kids, my husband, myself. Fun and events, we haven't been putting money in this time around um, or since the quarantine, but we do have birthdays, Mother's Days, Mother's Days, Mother's Day, um, 
I would say a baby shower, but it's not really a baby shower. But my um, my cousin was going to have a baby shower, but since the quarantine it is canceled, so she does have a registry. So I want to make sure we get her a gift. And I do have a miscellaneous category as well for just in cases or whatever else doesn't fit into these categories. And then so my total is 706, which matches here 706, and I will not be carrying anything down over here to my savings or extra debt payment. And with this um, highlighter here, I was kind of testing it out to see how it would look because I did write it in pencil, so I'm going to try to erase it. Um, thankfully, I used the highlighter that has the erasable tip at the at the bottom. Um, I decided to write this all out in pencil because I don't know how it would actually turn out. I actually pre-planned all of this in another passion planner on the back um, just to see how the layout would turn out. Um, I probably will go back and highlight a couple things like debt and savings and stuff just so visually I know um, how much debt we still have left. It's just something I personally like to do. I don't know if I'll go crazy highlighting all my budget categories and stuff in here like I do in my budget by paycheck workbook. And then on this column here, I went ahead and wrote out the budget. Typically, I would like to wait um, until my husband finds out what his actual paycheck is, which he usually finds out Wednesday prior or Wednesday the Wednesday of the week that he gets paid but I decided to just go ahead and put that on here and if I need to I could just erase numbers if I need to adjust anything so but I just went ahead and put that in there just so I can see all the bills laid out on there for me since I'm not using a calendar on here so that's pretty much it I will also for this um, paycheck right here. I do plan to split up the 750 that we'll have left over to increase our emergency fund and to put um, that amount towards one of our debts. So that's that there. And then on the this side here, it's still kind of a work in progress. I did put my goals on here. Um, one being to increase our emergency fund to um, stay within budget on gifts. May is usually the month where we typically go a bit spending crazy because everyone's birthdays, my husband's birthday, my soon to be seven year old's birthday, we have Mother's Day, um, baby shower gift that we're gonna buy, and then teacher appreciation week. I do want to make sure we get my son's teacher something. And then I'm also planning to see what we can get my mom for her birthday that's in July. I know it's still far in advance. But I gave ourselves um, a bigger amount in fun and events just in case we find anything. If we don't use it, then we don't use it. But we still really want to try to keep, be frugal with everything. So we'll see how that goes at the end of the month. And then my third goal is to reread Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. I haven't been buying a lot of new books this time around. I've actually signed up for the free two month period for Kindle Unlimited. And then I also downloaded Audible as well. And I just gotta make sure to cancel that because I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I do prefer to have a physical book. So um, I just thought the Audible would be something nice for when I'm like going out for walks and stuff. But anyways. Um, and I also put a quote on here. I like to put quotes wherever I have my budget set setups. And I just put, the more you learn, the more you earn. And that's by Warren Buffett. And the circles here, I did want to put a pie chart. I wanted to have one for our budgeted amount and then one for our actual spending. So we'll see how that goes towards the end of the month. And then on this page, this page took me a little bit longer because I wanted to make sure I went back and checked to see how many lines that we actually used in our food expenses because I wanted to make sure I had enough room. So this is what I came up with. I decided to go with this layout because I always want to see what our balance is for each category instead of always adding it all up. So here I would write, actually should have written it down already, but I should have put my food budget here and then as we spend, I'll have like a running balance here. Kind of like what you would do with your cash envelope. You would write the you would write the the balance as you subtract you know, as you spend pretty much. So um, your running balance. There you go. I always want to see what my balance is for each budget category without me always having to do like a budget recap and trying to see how much I have left over. So 
we'll see how this goes. The only thing that worries me or concerns me a little bit is the spacing because some places can be kind of long to write and I already write small already so um, we'll see how that goes. I decided to keep this one blank to see how this goes and if I need to make any adjustments. So this is my variable expenses tracker and this one is for our paycheck period May 1 to 14th. This one is from May 15th to 29th. So I think this is going to be kind of cool because as I fill out this side here I can kind of maybe challenge myself and try not to spend as much here um, or not spend too much with this budget. Um, so yeah we'll see how this goes. I, I haven't tried this type of layout before so we'll see what happens. So that is my May budget setup but I also wanted to show you guys my other budget related things that's in this planner on the very back. I did a video a couple videos ago where I compared my bills um, in March of 2018 compared to March 2020 so two years ago and so I decided to use this page for that. I'll go ahead and leave um, a card for that video in case you guys wanted to see it. Um, and I also have this that I set up earlier this year, which is my debt balance tracker. I also have a debt payoff goal dates here. I also have a chart where I keep track of my debt payoff also on my vision board. So I always see it. We are, fortunately for us, my husband still works and nothing really has affected us. Um, so we are we should still be on schedule to pay off our credit cards by November, if not sooner. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it for this budget setup. I hope you guys found it helpful or maybe gave you guys some ideas on what you can do with your own budget setup, whether it's in your bullet journal, the back of your passion planner, or just in a plain old notebook. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Bye.